What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. So in this one, I want to share with you a product research tool I've been using myself now for the last four or five months. If you're familiar with my channel, you'll know every single Friday without fail, I host a series called Facebook Ads Friday. The next one is of course coming in two days time on a Friday, it will be week 31. So make sure you subscribe not to miss that. But basically what I do is I show you two proven, successful and profitable dropshipping products. So for example, if I show you this one, quickly from Glow Right. This is a product that went active on June 15th of 2022. And in that time then it's got 6.4 thousand reactions, 1.6 thousand comments and 1,000 shares. The engagements are pretty good, but what sells it or what seals the deal, at least from my perspective, to prove that it is a proven profitable product is if we go into the comment section. So we can see Bobby here, he bought two, they're brilliant, so he's really happy with them. Um, Anne said her hubby bought some of these years ago for her wardrobes. Gina says she loves these, Veronica says they're great. Ruth says she put one in the pantry, there's another person that's bought one. I have them in my lower cupboards, absolutely love these types of lights. So as we can see, there's lots and lots of people buying this product, lots and lots of people that are happy with this product. And the fact that it's been active for so long shows that it it must be making this company a return. It must be making them profitable, otherwise they would stop running it. Now you might have seen some of these comments and said, well, that was seven weeks ago, 23 weeks ago, 14 weeks ago. So let's go up to here and just go for newest comments. And once this loads up, we can see one day, one day. So the reason this is up here is because it had a reply four days ago. So let's just open these up. Four days, four days, one week, one week. So we can see it's still pretty active. It's still getting a lot of comments on it, which still must indicate that obviously it's making these guys some money and therefore I would call this product a proven product. Now, as the weeks went on, people started to ask me how I found these products. And in this video today, I'm gonna to show you exactly how I found them. So I'm using a tool called Mine-A or Minia, however you wanna pronounce it. It's a tool that I genuinely use myself. So I'm not affiliated. I don't have a link for you guys to go and sign up with. It's genuinely a tool that I use myself all of the time, not just for YouTube, but for my own product research. And I will only ever recommend tools of such as well, tools that I've actually tried and tested myself. So today I'm gonna to show you how I use it to keep finding products on a weekly basis that have that kind of proven, tried and tested label. This is your dashboard, there's not a lot to see here really, so let's just jump straight into Facebook ads. So on the left hand side, we can spy basically on ads that are selling things on Facebook, Pinterest and TikTok. When I'm doing Facebook, I have some different filters set up. Um, I actually don't know how to delete these, hence why there's three different ones. Um, and this is the most recent one, this is the common one that I use all the time. So basically what I do, in fact, let's open this up so you can see um, I have a call to action of shop now that way it's going to filter posts basically what this tool does then is it crawls Facebook and finds posts that match the criteria that you set it so the criteria that I like to go for is a call to action of shop now. That way it's gonna find posts which are selling something and have a shop now button. Um, I'll go for the platform of Shopify or WooCommerce because this is typically where most people will drop ship from. So that's basically the link that people will be diverting people to or directing people to. Basically the shop now button is taking people to a Shopify or WooCommerce site. And of course, once you've found somebody's Shopify website as well, then you can find a ton more information about them as well, which you can use. Um, I go for posts that have a minimum of a thousand likes, a minimum of 500 shares, um, but where the value, in my opinion, for a tool like this comes in is in the comment section. Um, so I go for posts which have a minimum of 250 comments. If you kind of set criteria for this and bring back those posts which have a significant amount of engagements, then obviously they've been running for some while and they must be successful to get to this level of engagement. Because again, it goes back to that argument of nobody pays to run an ad up to a thousand plus likes, 500 plus shares and 250 plus comments unless they're seeing some sort of return from it. Last but certainly not least is the countries. So I filter by Great Britain, US, Australia and Canada, just so you don't get loads of rubbish from God knows where across the globe. Um, I wanna make sure these are products that I can sell in the UK or in the big four, um, so to speak. There's lots of other different filters as well. So you can be as, as specific as the amount of love heart reactions. You can go by media type, you can go by age. Um, however, these are kind of like the broader ones or this is my start 
starting point. And if I don't quite find what I'm looking for, then I might bump up my comments to say 500 to really try and find those more established products. So once you've set your criteria and you've searched, um, these are the sorts of results it's gonna give you. What I typically like to do is just go through and play the videos um, and see what the product is, see if it's a kind of dropshipping type product that I can source on AliExpress. Um, on the surface as well, you can see when it was first seen, you can see when it was last seen. So this was last seen of May 21st. Um, it's May 22nd as I record this. So again, that would indicate it's still active and running and therefore working right now. We can see it's got a thousand shares, 6,000 likes and 2,000 comments. What I really like about Minia is is that you can add it to a list so you can come back at any point and see the products you found in the past um, just in case they don't show up next time that you show for them and if you right click this and click open a new tab um, then what it's going to do is take you straight to the actual post that's live on Facebook so again you can actually look through those comments and see what people are saying about them. Where Minio is also super valuable as well especially for those people who already have established businesses and just want to expand on their product ranges what you can do in the top here is simply put in your niche so obviously we're coming into summer so let's go for garden. We'll put in garden as a keyword. And what it's going to do is bring back posts, which obviously contain that keyword. So basically you can be finding posts which are selling products in those particular niches. So for example, this pup jet, this is a brilliant, a fantastic product. I'll open this up just to show you in case you missed last week's episode of Facebook Ads Friday. But this is a product that people are going crazy for and they absolutely love. So if you actually click on the post here, it takes you to another page within um, Minia. You can see the engagements month on month. So if you see that number increasing, then obviously again, that would indicate it's still active month on month. And if it keeps increasing, then it must be working. And these guys must be seeing a return. What it also gives you is the audience rage, rage, audience age. So you know exactly what age ranges to target. It tells you what genders to target and it tells you where it's selling successfully as well. Where the value comes in though, in my opinion, is you can click this C post and it will take you to the post on Facebook if it loads up. For whatever reason, my browser keeps doing this. I keep clearing the cookies and the cache and everything. And for whatever reason, it still does it. If anybody knows a fix for that, please let me know. It's so annoying. Um, but anyway, just to show you the actual post itself, won't let me open them up probably because I'm not signed in, which is annoying. But basically people are going crazy with this product. They love it. Well, we can see here out of the top two, the top one has got one of these for a Bernese mountain dog. Um, can wash her in less than five minutes now before it took about 20. So it's another proven product that's still active right um, right now in my opinion. So that pretty much covers everything I do from a Facebook ads um, point of view. Um, I, I typically don't explore Pinterest very often if I'm honest, but I do have a look on TikTok every now and again. Again, the same sort of criteria is available. I have mine saved so I can just click here and it'll go for a minimum of 200 comments. Um, E-commerce type will be these four here. I've got set for TikTok. Again, the same countries um, and then plays. I always go for over 250,000. Then once the results have adjusted, again, you can just scroll through. And what's really good is you can watch the videos on Minio without having to open it up. Um, I'll go to TikTok so you can see exactly what the product is. So you can scroll through basically and just see something that kind of catches your eye or looks kind of dropship any type. Um, so we can try this one. So this looks like different sandcastle makers, which is pretty cool actually. And again, being the time of year, we're coming into summer. These are the types of products which um, are gonna be getting some attention or at least coming into trend. So what I would do in this case is I would open it up. I would head across to TikTok and I would just go through the comments and see if I can find any evidence there um, of people buying that product. So we're on TikTok, we've got the ad up in front of us. Let's go through the comment section and see um, what people are saying. So why did I not have this as a kid, be a kid again, just play. So we can see they're responding to people, which is good. And finest sand is the sand real. Pretty good toy, looks different than anything seen before. When can I get it? So there's some kind of intent, um, somebody looking to buy the product. Okay, but it's not worth $50. So there's somebody who was interested but didn't want to pay the um, pay the price for it, I would guess. Uh, mines on its way, so there's somebody who's bought it. 
more people interested in the sand we need this as soon as possible we have these our kids love it so there's another person who's bought one this person here i have that um, I have one so there's quite a few people already have it it's amazing I have this so as we can see there's quite a few people who have actually bought this product whether they've got it from these guys or not which is great indications and great evidence that there is demand for it and people are actually buying it so with that being said that pretty much covers everything that I use this software for um, once I've found something that I really like what I'll do is I'll add it to my list I've got a list of winners sometimes I separate up separate it up by month and then the next thing I'd do is I'd look at those ones that are going to be popular now so for example a product like this seeing as we're coming into summer and people go away I'd then head on to AliExpress um, see if I can find a supplier on there I'd get the link and then I'd send it out to all the different agents um, and contacts that I work with and see who comes back with the best price best quality best delivery so on and so forth and so on that note then guys um, that's how I use this particular software Mine A or Minia however you want to pronounce it definitely go and check it out it's not the sort of thing that you need to be using for months and months on end you can dip in and out for a day or two because like i just showed you in the space of a few minutes you can buy three or four really solid products so definitely worth a look make sure you come back and let me know your thoughts thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe for facebook ads friday coming this friday week 31 cheers